So Mark, we've attached G-Swing to a club, we're ready to hit some balls, but which club have you chosen? Always to start, I'm going to go for the pitching wedge. This is all about the start of our routine, finding our timing and finding our rhythm. And that is the wonderful thing about the G-Swing. It's not just about smashing the driver and measuring the club head speed and the timing distances for the long power shots. It's also sensitive enough to measure, measure readings for even a pitching wedge. OK, so let's hit a shot and see what we get. OK, nicely struck, good sound, good flight, but let's have a look at the readings. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's my first swing of the day, and what the G-Swing is showing me is that my club head speed is 76.9 miles an hour, which is what I would expect. I'm just still warming up with the wedge. I could maybe be a little bit more than that, but the most important reading is my timing distance, which I have to say is a little surprising because it felt like a pretty good strike, but I've got 11.5 inches is the point where I stopped accelerating before impact. Now I know I can improve on that because I've done it so many times in the past. Anything under 10 and I'm feeling like I'm timing the shot pretty well. So what I'm going to do is slow my backswing down a little bit. That was maybe just a little bit hurried on the way back and I want to slow it down and make sure I can optimise the strike. OK, let's have a go. OK, again, nicely struck, good sound, nice rhythmic swing. What have we got? Even though I slowed my back swing down, I've actually achieved a greater club head speed at impact, which is 81.6 miles an hour. And my timing distance, which I'm hoping was going to improve, is actually perfection, which means that I, I achieve the impact maximum acceleration at the point of striking the ball. So I'm absolutely delighted with that. Just in making that slight change to the takeaway and the speed of the backswing, I've improved my strike and I've improved my timing distance massively. So even though you've slowed your backswing, you've actually increased your club head speed at impact, which is uh, interesting, but you have got that timing just spot on. Absolutely, and ultimately that is what's going to help my game for the day. It's going to improve my ball striking and the G-Swing has told me that within two shots. So the tip is, tip number two, to help optimise your timing, slow down your backswing. <laughs>